14 The story of Whitehall City within the land called. This is a logging town with a sawmill. The Changers Church Valley Reservation. The population of Whitehall City. The city has 300 residents and about half are retired and only work part-time. Has 430 homes, stores, factories, hotel, dinner and bank, horse stable with fix-it shop. The Changer Church Main Office Church, Council, Court, Jail, Church School, County School and City Hall. General Store, Laundry Mat, Barber's Shop, Hairdresser, Small Hospital, Dentist, Movie Theater, Gospel Music Dance Hall. When the town gets bigger there are more businesses added. Sadly there is no other way to cut logs and haul them out of the woods with our gas power. Equipment, gas chainsaws and tractors. Everything is brought to the loading station so the train can take it to the mill. The mill is all electric. I got there early in the morning and I headed to the main office of the church. I got there and went and there was someone behind the counter and said all your messages are in your office. I said thanks and went right down there. I got there and sat down and started going through all my messages and I found one that was sent yesterday and it said that I should call home as soon as possible. It was a little too early to call right now so I went through all the other messages. That seemed to be the most important one. Most of the notes were from the courthouse wanting me to come right over when got in. There was like five of them from different places within the court system. The rest of them were from here at the church. All we do here is take care of the complaints and for the church and or jobs. The court system takes care of other things like fights, getting bad products and whoever made it will not stand behind it and fix it or take it back and replace it. They are all little things like husband and wife fighting. Once in a while no matter how much you try to teach others about sharing they just cannot share. They want it all or nothing. Sometimes it gets really fun to try to get everyone on the same page and wipe it clean but no way for some. Like he left the toilet seat up for so long now she is mad and takes it out on him even when he does remember to put it down. I remember on time she come after him and started hitting and hitting him and even took him down on the floor and started hitting and hitting him. Then about five minutes later she said you left a plate in the sink and did not wash it off and if you do it again I will use rolling pin next time. She got off him and went back into the kitchen. He said wow what would have happened if I forgot to take out the trash. Just then the door opens and the guy said so where have you been you should have been here last week. I said there was so much going on in some of the towns it took longer than two days to fix things. Some towns I stay one day and others too. There was one I was there for four days taking care of things. So what has been going on here? As you by the notes you got that the twins are at it again and what do you want to do about them this time? I said I have planned that might just fix what is wrong. I want you to see if they can be here about three. Then see if then I gave him a list of all the others that I had notes for to be there at three. He said okay well we will see if I can get everyone here by then. Then I said there's a new book on the website and download it and print it out if you need way. To many that you can print call the office and they will ship you some and then it will be in. The train in the morning. He said that sounds good our old printer is not doing the good now. I said just order a new one. If you need something just call and order it. He said wow what has changed. We are getting to the point now we can afford to replace some of the old stuff now. We are even replacing and or restoring some of the old train cars. It will not be long with the train comes in with some new cars on them. Then he looked at me and said what about a raise? I said tell me why you want a raise and to how much. He said wow I did not even expect for you to say that. I said think about it and get back to me by tomorrow night. He said he would. 
He left and I got ready to go down to the courthouse and do all the things that is needed. There. Well it is time to go to the courthouse and I left and went there. I went in and went up to the front counter and said any messages for me? The person looked up and in your office. I said thanks and went to my office and went through all the messages. One was the same one and now it was later enough so I can all to find out what was doing on. I called home to see what was going on and she told me that I had to come home as soon as I can. And then she said I cannot tell you over the phone. I said I am here at Whitehall and can be there tonight. She said okay see you then. I hung up and know I am really messed up now for what is going on that she could not tell me over. The phone. I got up and went back out front and said do you have everything ready for the court? Hearings today. The person looked at me and said you can go right in when you are ready and they will start. I said okay and went and got ready. Well here is where we depart and good night and see you in the next town. Home that is.